Hey guys, so today we're doing another vlog style video. I know this doesn't look like a vlog style video, but it's going to be, trust me. Um, I hope I stay in focus. I turned autofocus off. I wanna do many, many more vlogs, hopefully in the month of March, but today specifically, well, for one, we're gonna clean up a little bit because my apartment's messy. So we're gonna do some cleaning. Um, it's gonna be a lot of things in this video. Obviously, I'm gonna show you all the apartment updates that we've done in the weeks since the last video that I posted about the apartment. I'm so, so excited to show you everything that we've done. I mean, obviously, you can see some things going on. You can see we got some shelves, we got a record player, we got a plant. This plant is actually from the video before that I showed you. But anyway, we got a dining table, we got dining chairs. We're living the life here. It's really coming together so, so well. I'm so happy with everything, so proud of it all, and it's finally starting to feel like home. I feel like I rushed a lot of, you know, getting things done here because I didn't have a home base. And when you're, you know, in the middle of pandemic, it's kind of, you want something to feel like home because you can't leave it. Like you have to be there all the time. So you need it to feel like a home. So that's why I've been really, um, pushing in this place to get things done a lot faster than maybe I would normally or when I did what I did in the last place that took like over a year to really get settled in so we've made a lot of progress here before we get into all of the apartment updates though I just want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different types of classes from creative and motivating classes to things that can fuel your hobbies or develop new skills they have a lot of creative challenges and productivity courses on there that I love it helps me set up really achieve goals and kind of structure my days a little bit better if I have a free day and it's just really nice to have Skillshare as an outlet to still continue to learn and grow a lot of my skills and start new hobbies and things like that. They have classes in literally everything you can imagine no matter what hobby you want to start whether it's fine art, photography, or if you want to develop your social media more they have classes on that. One class that I found that has been really interesting so far is productivity for creatives build a system that brings out your best and this is by Thomas Frank and he's a youtuber author and entrepreneur and I really like his practical approach to creativity because yes you can wait around for inspiration to strike but you can also take hold of that inspiration yourself and find ways to really inspire it and ignite it from within you by being more productive and more focused and professional about your creativity, which isn't normally what is encouraged, but I think it's a really unique perspective to have. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. After that, it's only around $10 a month. Okay, now let's get into the vlog and some apartment updates for you. So I'm gonna show you where it's at now and it's messy. And I did that because I wanted to clean with you and this can also be cleaning inspiration if you want. <laughs> it's not like too messy, I cleaned the other day. Um, so I'll show you kind of the updates that we've made in the living room and the patio and things like that. And then we'll clean it up and move on to the next space. Actually, most of what we have done has been in the living room. I actually just got a package today that I'm gonna open with you guys and it is our shelving that's actually gonna go where the DVD rack is. We got some media storage to go right there and I'm so excited to organize my DVDs. So we're gonna do that today. Also include like a reading update for you. This is gonna be not just apartment stuff, but just life, you know, just living my life today. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can do more vlogs in March if you enjoy them. And I have some like creative stuff that I wanna do today with you. So let's get into showing you the new place and uh, cleaning it. Okay, as you can see, we pushed back the couch towards the wall. It's not staying like that. Don't get your hopes up. We're still doing the bookshelves. They've just been out of stock from Ikea forever. So we're just waiting to get those bookshelves. For now, we pushed it back, kind of opens up the space a little bit, whatever. So here's our rug. Are you excited? We got a rug. I got so many comments saying that this looks like dirty snow. Uh, it doesn't, I promise. There's some gold in there, you can see. These are all cat toys. Let's just... Get rid of those for a second so you can see the rug better. Oh, there's another one, there we go. I love this rug, I think it looks so amazing. Like any way you look at it, it's just so gorgeous, so pretty. And then of course you saw our coffee table. So we have, we have issues with this coffee table. This is from Target, the rug is from Overstock. I'll link uh, the, them down below. This coffee table is amazing, right? We love it holds our stuff, 
right so cute it came damaged actually which that's why i don't really recommend the coffee table because it was completely damaged this would not open or close and it actually cracked uh completely right here almost directly like in half like this piece just like came off we had to use another screw here started to come through on the other side so we have some damages there we also have nice damages on the back end here just all the way down for some reason not sure what that's from we're still obsessed with it we love it it's exactly what we wanted we wanted something with storage i love this nook down here to just put all put all of our stuff in if we want to use the top of it and then of course you saw these shelves in the beginning i got these from walmart and we finally got a record player i'm just so happy with these shelves they look so good we were actually going to put them over here originally but as you can see they will not fit right now so we're still not sure if we want to just get a second set of shelves and put those right here because i think that would look really cute but we also don't want this place to get too cluttered because obviously we're going to have the bookshelves behind here so so let's go ahead and clean up the living room area just to make it a little bit better, it could definitely be better. So hopefully you enjoy some cleaning content and then we'll put together the shelves for the media and put the DVDs and organize my DVDs. I'm so excited. <laughs> looking so much better it was like little stuff it wasn't like too too messy like there were fingerprints all over the glass coffee table which now you can see looks so nice and clean and organized i love it i had to clean around pepe because he's just so cute just sleeping away normally i would have the blanket like on the foot of the couch thing but you know looks good for now so now i'm gonna bring in the package to be over here we're gonna build my media storage unit let's hope this doesn't take too long to build and it's not gonna be too inconvenient so i ordered two of these like tall specifically for media shelves i'll link them down below they're called the heron storage shelf and i saw walmart sells these and amazon sells these so you can pick which one you want to buy from my upstairs neighbor is vacuuming relatable this doesn't look entirely like what i ordered so i'm hoping that these are still correct because it only holds 114 dvds and it was supposed to be 54 inches tall oh my god this is so many pieces <laughs> yeah 114 dvds that doesn't sound like what i ordered let me where's my phone yeah it says 54 inches but this it has the same number of holding like how many dvds it can hold so i guess i missed that well i guess worst case i buy a third one if it can't hold all of my dvds i probably will eventually have more than 228 dvds but for now Let's build one and see what it looks like. We need a screwdriver and a hammer, so let me go get that. Okay. Yes, I put socks on because I didn't want you creeps looking at my feet. Okay, so we take A, B, and C. Here's an A. Don't know where the B's are. Oh, these are B's. Take an A and a B. any where there need to be when you got a drill gun it splits the wood because this is plywood but two screws in i'm good with that okay let me do it all over again let's see need some k's need some j's it because I'm not I'm just not gonna do that now I can screw 
screw, four screws. All right, we'll just have some unsturdy shelves, it's fine. Coming together, it's coming together. This is absolutely the worst thing I have ever built. Uh, half of it's on me probably, half of it's on the manufacturer. But I finished it uh, with some very um, frustrating moments, but it's done. It's very unsturdy. Um, I'm not, luckily only DVDs are going on this and not books, because this is, it would fall apart. So let's stand it up and see how it looks. I'm like scared to use it. Um, there she is. Uh, I'm not done actually quite yet because I have to do the uh, actual shelving. So let's uh, see how tall a DVD is and we'll build shelves based on that. Okay, it is done. My DVDs can now be stored in this. I hope there's enough of it and I'm not even going to build the second one probably today. Uh, because that just took a lot out of me, like the life out of me. So we're gonna just sit with this one for a while and uh, maybe organize another day. Building that shelf literally took so much more out of me than I thought. I got hangry, I'm PMSing, and I just got really frustrated. <laughs> so I had to like step away. I even told myself, I'm like, you're done filming today. Take off your makeup, you're good. Like. You don't need to do any of that, but I feel better now. I had also just finished filming a horror video, so I feel like mentally I was just not ready to like jump back into vlogging. So, but I feel better. I had a lot of food. I ate a lot of food and uh, just sat on the couch and watched some below deck. So I feel regenerated, I guess you would say. So let's talk about reading, shall we? You guys seem to really enjoy my reading video that I did, or like all the books that I read in 2020, because in case you didn't know, I'm into reading now. And my pace right now, I read one book in January and two books in February, technically three, because one is a self-help book. So let's talk about reading. So the book I read in January was Lovely Bones. Um, by Alice Siebold and I love the movie. Not sure if I love the book, I'm sorry. Oh, now my battery's dying. I feel like the universe is trying to tell me like not to film today. Like why? Why am I hitting so many like walls here? Now we're not gonna have any more interruptions. I turned my grow lights on so we have like a vibe back there. I got that completely backwards by the way. Uh, January was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and then February, for the first half of, well, first 20 days of February, it took me 20 days to read The Lovely Bones. So currently I am reading The Woman in Cabin 10. Uh, love this so far. It's very fast paced, I would say. Um, I'm almost finished with it, obviously. You wanna know what my bookmark is? Mm -hmm. Next book will probably be uh, The Deathly Hollows, and then I'll be done with reading all of Harry Potter. And the next time I read Harry Potter will probably be, at least for the first four books, the illustrated editions, because I do have those and I've never read through them. So that'll probably be next. So I wanted to show you, a lot of you asked me about my bullet journaling, and I don't do bullet journals anymore, because I find that just doing a to-do list on my phone is typically the most effective for me. So I don't have like a physical a book that I write everything down in, but I do have uh, my reading journal, which has three pages in it. So not sure if you can call it a whole reading journal, but I'm experimenting a little bit um, with encouraging myself to read more. So here I was trying to play with washi tape and I hated how it looked like on this, uh, don't, I don't know what's going on on this page. <laughs> on this page, I just wrote out some quotes that I really like. Um, and then on this page is actually my daily reading tracker. So you can see the days I have highlighted. I've highlighted every day that I have read and I try to include the amount of pages that I've read on that day. So I'm doing pretty good. Obviously January, that those like 10 days right there. Um, yeah, that was moving. So I didn't read at all during the move. And then I have a stack of books little thing that I'm actually really proud because I drew that by hand. So very proud and then I'm gonna fill in each book as I finish them. Uh, as you can see, unfortunately the highlighter like bleeds through, um, but I also will have a list here of the books like separately that I finished reading. And that's it for my reading journal. What I wanted to do originally was like write down all my thoughts about the book and kind of interpret some things or some things that stood out to me, but I think that's more of a self-help book 
type of thing or like nonfiction. Um, so maybe I'll do that after I'm done reading the nonfiction book I'm reading right now, which is The Untethered Soul, because I'm on a spiritual journey, in case you didn't know. Probably talk about it in a video soon, I think. I'm still debating going back and forth, but I want to talk about um, my spirituality and my spiritual journey as an atheist because it's a very strange transition that I'm in and it's just odd and out of character I would say it's just a new discovery anyway highly recommend the untethered soul I'm almost done with it and I'm buying a physical copy here soon because I have the ebook and I find myself highlighting so much of it and I just feel the need to own it in a physical copy so I can highlight and see it on the page. So. Okay, so there's actually one other thing that I wanted to do with you uh, because it might inspire some of you to do the same. Um, I see a lot of people use like post-it notes for things and I don't really think I would respond to like affirmations necessarily, but I got some extreme post-it notes. These are expensive. Um, they, luckily they were half off. I'm really drawn to this green and orange, I think. I like those. I really like this blue and the yellow. I don't know. We'll just, we'll play around with some sticky notes. Anyway, people do like affirmations and stuff on sticky notes. And I don't know if I would be really receptive to that, but I really, really, really need to focus on my writing. And I just don't write and I haven't written I did an exercise the other day because I'm really trying to encourage myself to write more, but I thought I would take uh, matters into my own hands, be a little drastic with it, write some writing affirmations on some sticky notes and paste them probably by the dining table on like the Joshua Tree print that we have somewhere over there that Ryan and I can both see it because we're actually both writers. So this would also benefit him as well and he's down for it. So I'm gonna write out some writing affirmations and just motivation and advice, like some of the best advice that I've heard um, as far as writing goes. If you're not into writing, obviously you can make this, these kind of things be relevant to whatever you wanna do uh, more of or whatever you want to encourage yourself to do. Sorry, I'm left-handed and you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> the ink just comes right off of that, so that's not the pen we're using. I have like a lot of pens. There are many Sharpies. I think a Sharpie would probably work. Let's try that again. Number one piece of advice, write what you know. There is no perfect time or setting to write. I always try to wait for the perfect opportunity, the perfect piece of or inspiration and the peace and quiet. And yeah, I just, I, you don't need all that. You just sit down and do it. Don't write above your level. Don't thesaurus everything. It's okay to write shitty, just write. Oh, and I really, use a lot for advice for myself when I do sit down to write, it's okay to just write poorly. The fact is you just have to keep writing because that's how you practice your craft and get better at something. Obviously to start off with, you're not gonna be super great. So let's go paste these over on the table. <laughs> All right, kind of loving that. I love that I'll see it every single day and it's out here so Ryan can use it too. And it's in our living room, so while I'm watching TV, I will see these colorful notes and think about writing. I built the second one, somehow found the strength within me today to do the second one. I think I just really wanted to see them together and put my DVDs in them. Pepe, you coming? What are you doing? He wants to cuddle right now. You wanna cuddle? Yeah. Oh God, oh God. Oh, okay, he's a little fat, so I get worried. You wanna go outside and show him the new updates to the patio? We're like right on a walking path right here, so I feel, oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> I feel really awkward filming out there, but we got these patio lights from Walmart. They're just plastic. 
Um, this is from Ikea, and then that was from Home Goods. This is all our old stuff um, from the old place, the rug and everything. All right, so I think I'm going to put all my DVDs in here just to see how they all fit together. <laughs> they fit yeah mm -hmm. they fit but just barely and we have these are like ryan's movies and some weird ones that i don't necessarily need to display i think i might have to order a third one as much as these shelves are just poorly constructed i obviously want to stay consistent there's really no going back at this point so i think i want to order a third shelf and i hope that it fits Right here, I'm gonna measure to make sure that it can. But, I mean, I'm a really big fan of how it looks. Like, that is looks so good to me. And these are not even organized, really. I have, like, my rings together, uh, and Saw, Final Nation, stuff like that. But beyond that, those, like, movies, none of this is organized. I just kind of threw them in here just to see. I have destroyed my apartment a bit, uh, rearranging things because I wanted to put those back, push them back against the wall next to the TV so they weren't so out in the open. I might still put them over there, but I'm gonna see what Ryan thinks about them over here because that would be really cool. Okay, I styled it a little bit and oh my gosh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah, Skibble. I think Susan is just a thing that's going to be, she's going to just gonna be hanging around year round. I keep meaning to put her back in my car, but she's just hanging out. Anyway, now the fun part, I get to organize. I probably won't film that part. I don't know. Do I film that? Because it definitely needs organization. This is a hot mess right now, but I love how it looks. It looks great. I definitely want to get one or two more because obviously there's very little room to grow here. So I need more space. <laughs> definitely been a couple days since I vlogged and I meant to finish the vlog the next day uh, but it was just a bad day I guess that would have been yesterday would have been the next day uh, for the vlog how did I just clean this and it's already covered in like smudges I feel like I have children running around and I don't anyway I also realized in editing all of that footage already that I never finished the vlog well I already knew that but I also didn't show you all the rest of the updates so i'm going to do that today show you the rest of the things that we've done it's all pretty much smaller things except for the dining table we did get our chairs which you got a sneak peek of anyway um and then a little thing in a in the bedroom or a couple things in the bedroom and then in the hall so i'll show you that today i hope you're down for like a really long vlog i hope that's okay and you enjoyed this video so far i have to go to the dentist today which is why yesterday wasn't such a good day because i realized my teeth are having issues um, the ones that I just got done and I have to get my bite adjusted today from the crowns that I got and I'm getting my retainer today, my bottom retainer. So it's not like too stressful, it's just I don't know if it's going to be painful or not. I just feel like I'm always cursed with teeth issues and I'm just dealing with dental trauma and then having to go to the dentist like six times in six months is just not it. Not a fan of that, but at least I am doing it. I'm getting through it, I'm doing it, staying strong. I finished this book, by the way, in case you were curious. I liked it a lot. I would say three and a half to four stars out of five. It's pretty good. It felt kind of like a cliche mystery novel in a way. Not that I've read any of those before, but it just kind of feels like Murder, She Wrote kind of. Uh, stereotypical but it was enjoyable fast-paced really good now I can start this which is actually gonna be a really nice comfort for me while I put on some Harry Potter ambiance I'm definitely gonna start this today and just like chill out okay so let's show you some updates 
that we've made. Obviously, you kind of got a glimpse of our table. I mean, you saw our table in a previous video and you kind of got a glimpse of our chairs, but this is what it looks like all put together. It does kind of bother me that the legs of the chairs are a different color wood from the table and the floor. So I was debating painting the legs like matte black, but for now, I really like it. We obviously use it mostly as a desk and then sometimes we'll eat dinner here, but that's kind of the situation. I know originally we were going to put it like sideways on the wall, but after having it like that for a little while, I feel like this is just better to have permanently, just like this, especially because we have the shelves here. So I like it just kind of sticking out and there's still so much floor space before you get to the living room, which is a mess right now, again. I'm just really loving how the table looks. And now we have like four dining chairs. They're really comfy. They're from Target, by the way. So then if you go to the right, we have the hallway, which has our vacuum and some art that isn't hung up yet. And you can see like into the storage. I don't really like that, um, but this is, our hallway, which, oh my God. <laughs> so we hung up this mirror, which if you don't recognize it, is from the old apartment. It was the mirror that I would write the Chamber of Secrets has been opened on. So I really like that there. Kind of opens up the hallway because this is a very like closed in kind of space. So it makes it feel nice and big and welcome. We hung our grand tour puzzle. This is the first puzzle I did in quarantine. I just think it looks really cute right there. And this decor is really dusty too. I need to wipe that down. Um, this decor is not permanent. It's just kind of like where I'm storing some things right now, but I really like this piece. This used to be in our old bathroom. Obviously our bathroom now is too small to house that. So it just kind of sits here and I really like it. And then the other thing that we did in the bedroom is add this Thing that used to be out in the living room area in our old place. I think it fits perfectly right here. It goes with our color theme that we're doing. The mirror that is so dirty, hello. The mirror is very dirty <laughs> and our bedroom is a mess. So I'm not even gonna show you. I'm not gonna turn around. I'm not gonna show you any of that. Um, but the mirror is going to be hung right here. So it'll reflect the window light more. And I feel like that'll help open up the space and kind of make it feel a little bit brighter in here. Cause I like to call this place the cave cause there's no natural light usually. And then again, this decor is not probably permanent. It's just kind of <laughs> random stuff that I thought would kind of look good there, but I'm still playing around with all the decor. And then we hung this over our bed, which it looks so weird when it's like, <laughs> hella zoomed out like that, but uh, mostly we wanted to put our projector on it because we want to watch movies on um, this wall, which we'll get a new dresser on that wall eventually. And we'll use the projector to like project movies right above it. It makes a huge screen. I love it. These are our old bathroom shelves. So I really like that. We also added our bathroom print that used to be in the bathroom uh, over there. And then we got a floor mirror over here. So this is about as much as I'm gonna show you because our room's really messy, but uh, that's from Target and I really like it. So there you have our apartment updates. I think it's coming together really nicely. I'm really happy with all the progress that we've made and all the purchases that we've made have been so good. I haven't regretted pretty much anything. So I'm really, really excited and loving it. It's still, you know, very much a cave, like I said, but uh, we're working on that and trying to get some more lighting solutions and things to make it feel cozy in here. But for now, I think that's gonna be it for this very, very extremely long vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.